started off um, fishing when I was four. My granddad took me in and it was the saving of me really. I was a young kid. Uh, these days I'd have probably have been diagnosed with ADHD or something like that. In them days you were just a naughty kid. And my granddad took me fishing and straight away I just found it magical. It was just, you've got this surface of another world that you can't see and then all of a sudden you're presented with these little jewels and I just fell in love with it. And I've always, because of that situation, taught kids. Friends would approach me and say, can you take my kid fishing? I know you go every week and I used to take them. And it was going really well and then all of a sudden the rug was pulled out from underneath me and that was when all the rules changed and safeguarding certificates came in and, and it broke my heart if I'm honest. I looked into becoming a coach myself but the, the, the cost was quite prohibitive and then I had a fortuitous meeting um, with a, a gentleman called Terry Nutt said would I be interested in being a coach for Hodnett Anglers and I said I'd love to. He said well we'll look about look and see if we can get you some sponsorship and he spoke to John and Peter and they funded me coaching and it's I'm just made up. I'm absolutely made up. Um, well it's been the making of me. Um, I thought I'd lost something really special which was taking other people fishing and in the last two years I can't tell you what this has meant to me it's been fabulous that's I can't say any more than that it's just been absolutely immense it's it's this this is what switches me on now seeing a kid a kid's face light up when they catch the first fish or seeing a kid's face light up when they catch a a fish they've never caught before um, and you know making someone else's day is is even better than making my own day I, I just love it I absolutely love it this let's fish program is the best thing I've ever seen um, I, I, I used to love the fishing with the kids I was doing before it was a little bit ad hoc it wasn't as structured as this it's still good great fun and we had good, a good time but this now, having this structure and not only are the canals full of fish and the fantastic places to be, they're lovely, beautiful places that people are often on people's doorsteps and they just neglect them. So it's no they're there, really. Um, but they're full of fish. They're absolutely full of fish. We've had kids today, they've had a fish pretty much every drop in. And when you can explain something and that float goes under, it reinforces what you're actually trying to show the kids. And that, that shows that what we're doing is right. That's, that lets us coaches know that when you stick to this programme that these guys have taught us, the kids just lap it up.